Bobby, before we do this intro, can I ask you a question? Yeah, bro, go ahead. When are you going to marry that woman of yours, Selena? Hollywood, I told you, man, I'm not going to marry that woman. Can we just do the intro to this video? Okay, bro, let's do it. Everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports, guys. What I want to do right now, I have some requests to people who want to see my Redskins franchise game, and uh, so we're going to go up against these Houston Texans, man. As you can see, they're rated at 84, we're rated at 87. This is week 14. Let's do it. Yeah, I want to appreciate everybody uh, for, uh, for joining this video, for clicking on this video. Uh, let's do it. And guys, you should know by now, most of my content on my channel is about Madden. Especially, well, as you can see, guys, we're 10-2, and, and the Texans are 7-5 and five on their higher rated team. Well, we can see what we can do. This is all Madden, by the way. This is all Madden. Yeah, guys, you know, when, when the new Madden's get ready to come out, it's a lot of content coming out on the channel that is Madden. Not, you know, even though uh, people think I'm a... Uh, fanboy and all this kind of stuff man I just love football guys I just love football that's just the way it is and I get excited you know and people think I'm all about just getting excited about Matt yeah I love I love Matt yeah I love Matt but I'm excited about football guys any game I play I'm excited about guys if it be 2k if it be live if it be MLB the show it doesn't matter guys all my videos are the same way and right now we get ready to do some Madden NFL 18. Here we go. Today's matchup, we still have a focus on our hands. It's the Texans coming in at 7 and 5. The Texans. Up against the Redskins who come in at 10 and 2. 10 and 2. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon. You know, I want to say I appreciate everybody that that, 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 that shows support for my channel, man. It really consistently show support for my channel. Thank you. I don't take it lightly, guys. And it's been the home of this franchise ever since. Welcome to NRG Stadium in Houston. All right, baby, it's game time. It's game time. Here it is. It's unlike any other in sport. As both teams made their way out of the tunnel, these folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Washington Redskins and the Houston Texans. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Texan ball club entering play here. They come in playing some decent football, five and three in their last eight games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Redskins, they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. And how about that defense last week? They pitched a shutout, and it's really more like a no. We have won three of our last four games, that but game that game Wilson. that we lost, man was against the Atlanta Falcons, man. They busted us up. If you want to go back and watch that video, you're going to say, man, they killed. They killed our Redskins, man. In all three phases. Two teams trying to stake their claim to postseason Boom. football. Week 14, you know, we got to be hot in special teams. We got to be on it in offense. We got to be on it on defense. All three phases, man. We got to be on it, guys. Bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So out come the Texans and just for, for you guys that's new to the channel, I don't use her when I'm on defense. I don't use her, guys. I stick with one guy, and I want my guys to perform on themselves by their ratings. If I use her, everybody, then what's the point of me improving the players as far as their XP and, and getting their ratings up if I, if I do all the work? You see what I'm saying? Because obviously I'm going to do better than the actual player on the field. But I really want these guys to get better, man. And uh, I sit right here on the line and let those guys play. On first down, it's Watson. Oh, look at that. That's the kind of stuff we don't need to see in Madden 19. 
The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. Guys knocking each other. He knocked his own guy down. For Hopkins a week ago. All right, all right. Seventy-two yards, and he was able but to Everything is about there, getting better, right? Easy against this bunch defensively. We are deep enough into the see if we can keep this franchise going, this guys. We can keep our win streak going. In the NFL, he'll have a tough time. Second and four. Defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first. And I always spot a quarterback, man. Always. And that's what you count. Oh man, those guys will take off. All right, there we go. There we go. All good push. Ooh, that showed a little momentum right there. Because when you're able to that do that, strong uh, run right there. Who is that guy? Catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. You know, one thing I would like to see when they show players like this, that, as you know, like you see on the NFL, or CBS, when they talk about they they talk about the college they came from. That's what I would like to see in the game. Just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. When the players actually introduce themselves. They go again oh, come on, D. Come on, D. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Good tackle by Mason Foster, baby. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity. You know, with this team we built, man, we got a young team, guys. And, uh, you know, I think our defense has to carry us throughout this season. And then the offense just has to be consistent and not turn the ball over. And so far, we've been doing a pretty good job at it. All right, they got the first down. Here we go. We just can't go for big play, guys. We just got to be consistent. See what Deshaun Watson gonna try to do here. We got the spy on him. Oh no! Oh man, good play. Good play by the Texans. We got there too slow. Come on, Josh Norman. Let's do it, baby. Where you at, baby? Come on, DJ Swear. You wake up, home boy. That's tough to do because you usually have a safety or two in the middle of the field. But if you hit enough crossers and underneath routes, come on, guys, get him, get him. Oh, wide open. What kind of defense was that? And by the way, we got Sean Taylor back there. What, what kind of defense is that, man? His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Texans take it all the way down the field and score. Come on, guys. Come on, Sean Taylor, wake up, baby. You and Craven's back there. How a team is going to start. They started really well. Everyone's always wondering, going into a Thursday night game, who has their legs, who has, a, you know, the overall health of a team. But mentally, we always start out behind. We always start out seven and nothing. But in week 13, we actually started out with the lead. Couldn't believe it. That's why getting that early score means a lot. Here's Parky now set to kick it away. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go. Be Run it, Crowder. Let's go, baby. There we go. There we go. There we go. So out comes the Redskins offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback out of Michigan State. The former Spartan, it's Kirk Cousins. It's a pretty bland game he had. Yeah, I got him. I got Alex Smith on the field, baby. I got Alex Smith on the field. Uh-huh. But yeah. The team found a way All right, we're gonna to try to run the he football, guys, with the rookie. Other parts of the offense that carried them through. Here we go. We got the green light on the right side. Here we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. Let's go. That's all right. We got a yard, baby. And a quick look at Washington's offense. Jordan Reed is one of the best route running tight ends in the NFL, and it shouldn't be an accident because at one point That's he was a playmaker right there, baby. Let's go. Times when he runs routes downfield. All right, all right. What we got? Second and nine. Second and nine. Here we go. In a sense, is imagining himself catching one play a pass at a time. from himself. How are we looking? How are we looking? Looking at the defense. Look like uh, uh, Downey might be open right here. If not, we're gonna go try to go to Reed. Here we go. Oh, he's open. He's open, baby. Let's go. Just like I read it, baby. Just like I read it. Let's go. And Dylan Downey is our rookie, man. He's the wide receiver that just caught the ball. He's got a 97 speed, man. 97 speed. 
Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just <clears> down <throat> a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way One thing go. I challenge myself with, guys, I just like to run plays that pop up. All the things you I run plays. That, it's my, uh, it's my customized playbook. I know how to run them all, but I just let them pop up, guys. It's more challenging that way. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first. Uh huh. Series. Oh, come on, Reed. Come on, Jordan Reed. Come on, baby. They hit you in the hands, homeboy. You got to catch it. Come on now. You're all pro tight end. You got to catch those. Look at JJ Watt. We got to watch out for him, man. All right. Brian Cushing, another superstar. Clowny. Man, them boys got some talent on that team, man. They got some serious talent. Look at that secondary. Put his hand on the that should have been a catch by uh, Jordan Reed, though. Did with him in oh, that was man-to-man -man coverage, too. His best season to date and his first Pro Bowl as a player. Got to anticipate the throws, baby. Got to anticipate. Here we go. Now come on, come on, go. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt. Can I tell you? J.J. Watt. Get rid of the football there. Took the sack. Although that's easier said than done. He can't just chuck the thing sideways into the seats. No, he really can't because you're not afforded total protection. Oh, they played a cover too, man. You have to get outside of the tackle boxes as defined by the NFL. Meaning wherever your tackles operate normally. Get right, let's look at it. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I hate when that safety, that safety is way out past them hash marks. I need him on the inside a little bit. Time running out here on the play clock. Uh -huh, uh huh. Uh huh. Oh no! We threw it too late. Ah! Tackling! I forced that pass. I shouldn't have forced that pass in like that. I should have checked it down and see if we can fight for the uh, first down. Got greedy. Tried to force it in there. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? Man. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bad mistake. See, man, one thing about all Madden guys, you can't force it. Let's look at this play. For some of y'all new to the channel, guys, I like doing this. I like looking at the play, try to learn from it. See, right here, when he made this cut right here, I thought I had some room to throw it. But then that safety played it perfectly. Look at that. He read it perfectly right there. See, when I thought, when I saw him make that cut right there in that space, I tried to force it in there. But that safety reacted perfectly to that. Man. Let's back it up. I want to show y'all where I should have went. I don't want to make this too long. So I should have checked it down right here. He, he would have caught that. He was right there. On defense, that's part of your job. Finding ways. All right, come on, defense. You got to save us, baby. And they'll start this drive with a very good field position. After the interception, here's Come on, let's get it back. Let's get it back. We got, we got to spy on you, baby. Where you going? Where you going? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere. Good D. Good D, baby. Just a good one D. yard pickup on the play, and it'll make it a second. Yeah, down. baby. We got to spy on you, baby. And now a look at the one. Look at Jonathan defense. Allen. Come on, baby. Terrell McClain. Phil Taylor. Really we There's picked no him up in a, as a that. free agent. Zach Brown, Trent Murphy, Ryan Kerrigan. Let's do it, baby. My linebackers. Look, look at my Sarah Davis. Crazy. Josh Norman, Sean Taylor. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, baby. Let's get the ball back. We can do it. We can do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh man, y'all. Oh. That's alright, that's alright. Like good tackle, Josh Norman. Good tackle, baby. And a good quarterback facing we can do it. We can do it, man. Just a little bit of time to survey the scene. That's what's going to happen. It. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover. Let's try to hold him to three, man. Let's so try to hold him to three. Still in the first quarter. We got time. Get a little bit 
more pressure. Got time. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end down and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that. He never over till it's over, baby. At the passer. But when you As throw interceptions, guys, it just kills you. It kills you when you turn the ball over. You cannot turn the ball over. He likes to get the ball handed to him. Now, don't get me wrong. Come on, guys, who's going to make the big play, baby? Who's going to make the big play? Yeah, he might want to have a few words to say. This is a run play. Is this a run play? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What? Man, he could have drove a truck through that one. He could have drove a truck through that, man. And the Texans will end. Wow. This is going to be a tough game. This is going to be a rough game. Look at that hole. Where is the defense at? Wow. I was getting ready to say something about the beta, but I'm not allowed to do that. <clears throat> Compared to what's going on right now. All right, guys. We just need to get on the board. We just need to get on the board, baby. We just need to get on the board. One play at a time. Let's just feel it at the goal line. Yeah, he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Good job, Puller. Man, I hate that we lost Fuller, man. When we got Alex Smith, we lost Fuller, man. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. There we go. There we go. His man out of the backfield. That's complete. Got to check it down, baby. Can't the force it. The books here on a Thursday night. 14 nothing is our score. We're back to Houston in just a moment. We rank we we, we rank number 1 in the power rankings in the NFL too, guys. We rank number 1, baby. We won 3 or 4 of our last games. We're doing all right. We we in first place in the Snickers. NFC East. You're not you. You're not doing bad. Snickers satisfies. Back live, Charles Davis to my right. I'm Brandon, Brandon Gordon. Right Charles Davis. To begin quarter number two. Best commentary man has ever had. Short yardage to start things out. All right, Morgan Morgan. Don't let J.J. Watt come around that edge, man. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he gets good catch, just good catch, good catch, Josh Dotson, good catch, baby. I didn't force it, guys. It was tight coverage, baby. It was tight coverage right there. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, oh, they playing a lot of man-to-man -man -man coverage, and they had a blitz. I saw the blitz coming, if he's able to diagnose but I didn't want to ma max protect. He hurt you downfield. He reads we need, we need as many receivers you can get. Come on, baby. There you go. There you go. There you go. Let's go, McClure. That's a rookie, boy. That's the rookie halfback right there, baby. Came in the camp and took the starting position. Oh, they playing a lot of man to man coverage. What a safety blitz. Ooh, I got it. Okay. They playing a lot of man to man. Okay. 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 They're trying to play lockdown. They're trying to play lockdown, baby. Right here, I'm going to look for uh, uh, Jordan Reed, the tight end. If not, we're going to come across the Dotson. Okay. There you go. There you go. Oh! Come on, Jordan Reed. You're dropping him, baby. You're dropping him, baby. Come on now. Made the contact just as he's trying to haul it in. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. All right, we're looking for Reed Davis, and then we're gonna look for Crowder, baby. Deep, so that safety's not down there unless he drops back. Back to throw here. 
Mm -hmm. There you go, Reed. Got to get you warmed up, baby. Come on, man. Get that safety fell back. I wish he had it came down in the box. I would have took that one-on-one -on -one coverage. There's Philly. They six and six. The Colts. Atlanta. Dallas. Dallas is six and six. I hope they lose that game. Don't like the Dallas Cowgirls. They play the cover now in that time. Man, Pittsburgh is three and nine. Woo. All right, what are we looking at? What are we looking at here? All right, that safety, that safety's playing back there, boy. On third and short, they'll try and mm -hmm. pick it up through the air. Did he get the and first? Did he get the first? To his fullback. And they'll be inside oh, the first inches. Now at the inches. Yard line. Are you Give kidding me? Guys, we got to go for it. We got to go for it. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. It's actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there. Well, right? You know we're going to do the quarterback sneak, baby. Here we go. Guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put yeah, there. Yeah, I didn't get the big yardage there. You might out of a smaller back. They'll go with a the keeper. There we go. Let's go. Let's keep it going, baby. Let's keep it going. Now that was a little bit longer distance than you would expect. Good job, Alex, Alex Smith. Good need. job, baby. Normally it's fourth and one. Fourth Let's go back to the playbook. Here we go. When you get an interior lineman trying to get upfield for a pass play, sometimes you can blow past. Let's run that stretch to the left side on Trent well Williams' side. Our All pro left tackle. Let's go. And we got Ronnie Davis over there, baby. Come on. Oh, they in the box. We got to switch that up. We got to switch that up. Uh-huh, they all went on Reed, baby. They all checked down on Reed, baby. I got to learn how to check it down, baby. No forcing. No forcing. One play at a time. Here we go. Here we go. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver. Let's get one with Clinton for a two minute one. Come on. They can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Now cut, cut, cut. The with a oh. Ball. 15 yards through the air on a first Good down. catch, Josh. Good two catch, baby. To play here in the first half. We're back to Houston after this timeout. I didn't want to throw that too soon. Even if I had anticipated before he cut, I think it I think it would have got jumped. So I wanted to get get, get, get through the cut first and then throw it. EA Sports halftime report. Does dulcet mean good? Oh, that's, oh they played a cover one. Man to man coverage. Well, it's gotta be good if Larry's doing it. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Oh yeah, go, go, go. The they playing man to man still. They playing a lot of man to man right now. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, they did that safety blitz. Let's see if we can power over this baby. If we can go man on man, they play more man covers. If we go man on man, we can get an end zone. We got the green light to the right side. We got the green light to the right side. Here we go. Come on, baby. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he right, was going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he I did. I don't think they're going to play a man coverage right here on the goal line. They blitzed. We got him. We got him, baby. Here we got him. Let's go. Let's go. His second touchdown on the season. And the Redskins are able to make this a close game again. Good throw by uh, Alex Smith, baby. Let's go. They tossed it to it. And you remember the good old days when the 49ers were riding roughshod in the league? They use their fullback in pass plays all the time. Roger Craig, Tom Rathman, those guys were terrific at running these types of plays. Good drive, baby. That was a good drive right there. That was a good drive right there, baby. Arizona 7 and 5, Detroit 6 and 4. All right, defense, let's wake up, baby. Let's get this ball. And send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. 
We got a minute eight, babe. We got to play some good D right here. Let's go. On the touchback. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and They're thrown going well. wide. able to hmm. do that and put it in the end zone. They're All right, here we go. More of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Press, baby. Press. Press. We got a spy on Watson. Watson on first down. Oh, yes! Good play, good play. Good play, baby. Way to bust that up. Who's that, Zach Brown right there? I couldn't see his number. I think that was Zach Brown, baby. Let's go. Good D. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. He like a screenplay that was trying to run. All right, they're going three wide. Hmm, okay. Offense needs something here on second down. It is second and long. See how they always try to jump you offside? That's why you can't put it on aggressive. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, no. He's out of bounds. Out of bounds. We might get the ball back, baby. We might get the ball back. Third and 14. Look at Coach. He pumped up. Look at Coach Groove. He pumped up. Get in sync. Practice it. Do all those things. Okay, the oh, they're going zero wide receivers? Ooh, they third and 14? Well. Oh, we're going we're to we're keep the D up, baby. We're going to keep the D up. Third down, a nickel formation here defensively. We got this clock stopped. Let's go. Here we go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Let's call that timeout, baby. Let's call that timeout. And now we're going to get a timeout called by the Redskin defense. It's just their first, so they'll Good have to defense, baby. Good defense. before we get to halftime. We got our color rush on. Following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. The Texans send the punter out. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. Come on, Crowder. We need a good run back, baby. We need a good field position right here. At least try to get a field goal before the half. At least. But we can't force it, though. We can't force it. Oh, go, go. Oh, try to do a spin move. Call it 56 yards on the punt. And it'll be Redskins. Man, 56 yards on the punt. Wow, that was a deep punt. All right, oh, let's go, oh. Look at Bremen. Let's go, oh. Let's go, baby. You're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong. Let's hope this corner is not facing on the inside here. not be able to come back in the second half. He's facing straight up, so we're going to try to hit Reed. We gotta, that safety might be quick, though. We got to watch that safety. Right here. Start this drive in the air. Please hold on to the ball. There you go. Time out. Time out. See, on that play right there, when we go five wide, I usually read the corner, see what he's doing. Because if the corner is facing towards the inside of the hash mark, if he's facing the hash mark, he's going he's gonna to try to cover that, that, that slot guy. But if he faces straight up, he's going to just he, he's, he's going to be uh, uh, covering that. See, they, they play the cover two sink. So he was right there in that zone. All I had to watch was the safety on that play and time it just right. You know what? Let's do a wide receiver screen. See if we can break this baby open. It depends on what the how they play it though. Depends on what defense they're coming out in. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. There it is. We got the blocks. We got the blocks. We got the blocks. Go! Yes! Let's go, baby. Let's go. One play at a time. One play at a time. When you right, here we go. Here we go. All right. No matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball. Let's see if we can get some play action. Oh, man. Come on. Let's run the play. catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles. We don't have time, guys. I'm going to kick the field goal. I'm going to kick the field goal. I'm not going to try to rush it because we're not going to go towards the end zone anyway. And we're close enough to get this, this, this field goal. So let's just get the points. Can't mess it up, man, on this all man. Can't do it. <laughs> I would have been feel I would have felt rushed trying to beat the clock. 
And next thing you know, we're turning the football over. So even though it's first, so let's down, go. Here's let's field take our time, baby. Now to try take to our time. Before halftime. No win. Right no win. Match, it's a 43-yard attempt. Go! Oh, they get to what? The football. It's blocked. Are you serious? Are you serious? by any stretch of the imagination but the other team now has to be careful to not let this game begin to slip away he gone he gone man can you believe that a block kick for six points back to the house Oh man, we were in good position, man. Good position to score. Cut the score down. And like that, it's 21 to 7. Just like that. Parky on to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. Oh, looting the tackle. So we've come upon halftime here in Houston, and it's the home team, the Texans, leading this one. As we send you over to our headquarters in Orlando, where we check in with Larry Ridley for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Thanks, Brandon. Is that because we're playing on the road or what? Let's take a look back at the we just can't get a break, man. We can't get a break. Happy to be sitting in the locker room with the lead. The Redskins didn't play their best, and they'll need to be at their best. I didn't bring my water. What did I? All right, let's get I'll be back, guys. I'm going to go to my desk back here and try to get my water, if I got it. Now first and ten. Hopkins the catch over the middle. He gone. Texans take the early lead. Third and long. Under pressure here and the pass is picked off. Williams is in position, and he's the one who comes away with the ball. Well, that's two turnovers for the game. Out now following the interception. One play coming up here, and he'll run it in from nine yards out. That puts them on top by 14. The best thing you can do, guys, is drink your liquids. Drink your liquids during these hot, these hot summer months, man. It's the best thing you can be putting in your body right now. The Redskins trail now by just seven. Okay, Larry, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And we get the ball back, so Bruce, man. We could, it could have been, we'll could have been 10 to 14. But well, forget it, man. We can't cry. Ain't no crying in football, baby. Oh, good run. Good run. Nice step on him, too. Good job, Pull. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. All right, we just got to score, baby. We just got to go score again. We got to get something on the board. Big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than Let's try to run this up the gut. Let's see what we can do up the gut, man. More hype than what is there. But this is a real do I'm doing it. See if we can get McCool <laughs> running up the gut here. Drive. And we often talk about teams scoring other way. plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them. Let's go, the baby. Let's, Let's go, baby. Game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Just Come on, Brandon Sheriff Morgan Moses. Come on, baby. Open them holes up. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Oh, they're playing man coverage. They're playing man coverage. Let's see if we can get Crowder on the C route here. But that safety is going to be there. We're going to have to check it down. Before that, before that linebacker gets over there. Cut, cut. Yes. Oh. Incomplete. I think that could have been pass interference right there. He impeded the receiver big time. Make a play on the football, but in this case, making a play on the man was all the Oh man. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. The Redskins on third down. Just one for three. I tell you what, these Texans are playing some defense, so. They're playing some defense, baby. Uh huh. Oh! He's got the hook up. It's complete, and he'll get it up to the third. We got to punt the football, run. guys. We got to punt it'll the football. I know most of y'all, nine, nine out of ten of y'all, will go for it. But if we don't get it, man, or if I do a play and the guy drops the ball, anything can happen, man. Let's just punt and play defense. 
Now, I don't know. I own 33 right now. Down 21 to 7. We don't want to give the game away. The way I look at it, guys, is just the third quarter. We got time. We got time. That's a big gamble going forward on your own 33. Ah, oh, come on. Give us the bounce, baby. I should have put the back with spin on that. We can trust Wade. Texas offense now reading for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? How do they score here, especially a touchdown? It's almost All average. right, they're going three wide. So All right, here we go. Way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go Ooh, on. Dude, we need a turnover, baby. Let's get the ball back. From another team that their drive and will to come back and win. Can what a play. What a play. Another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the break, aren't they? Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get, let's get a couple of yards out of Let's get off the field, baby. Let's get the offense back on the field. The pretty quickly. Oh, oh come on! The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Oliver, 78 yards. Ooh, that boy's bad right there. That boy's bad. That's his second touchdown. <laughs> Still plenty of time left in the game. What is y'all doing, defense? What are you doing out there? What are you doing out there? Locker rooms are cookie cutter that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. Big play. We cannot give up the big plays. Have an emphasis on starting fast. Let's look at this play and see what happened. Let's look at this play and see what happened, man. How did they get blocked? Was it a bad defensive call? Look at that blocking. Oh, we got pancaked. Look, we got pancaked. Our defensive tackle, our left end and right end got pancaked. Look at that. Look at that. All three of them got pancaked. Look at this cut by Oliver. Oh, man, he was falling down. He couldn't get the tackle. Oh, right there. He got an arm out there, though. Nice reach tackle. Ain't no good, though. He kept his balance. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Yeah, we got pancaked on that play, man. Wow. Second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever. This I don't know. I don't know why we got pancaked like that. He knocks it through. All it's three of our run seven. stoppers got pancaked. Is that because it's all mad? Is that what it is? The quick strike ability. I know they put that in, so if you, you didn't, you, you, you know, if you get like an, a, a nickel or a dime. And, and, and the guys get ready to do a run play. People stopping the run with the nickel or a dime. So they would get pancaked. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. I don't get that one. On the return, here's a speedy Jamison Crowder. Then he'll take this across the 25. Good hard run, baby. Extra yards up to the 27-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. When that panic get, guys, when that panic get. And go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before and realize it hasn't worked. So well, I have a tendency to force it. I have a tendency to force it. My instincts say, throw it, get it down there. And get things going in the excitement area. <laughs> That's what my instincts tell me every time I'm throwing the ball. Get it downfield. When you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first. Let's try it anyway. Let's try it anyway. Here we go. Now they'll run it on the oh, good block! Get out! No, no! <laughs> oh, come on, baby! You got in the way! In the way! With a second and three. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there's a little bit of one, but it closed there quickly at the end. Gun. They'll look to throw. Oh. oh, that was a warp. That was a warp right there. That's why I'm glad we got true player motion in Madden 19. That was a big time warp. 
got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. The Redskins on third man down. Coverage. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and three. They'll drop to throw. He Good catch. His Good catch. It's Crowder. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a right, on this play, we're going to look for Dotson as the primary receiver. If not, I'm going to try to look real quick. If that safety stays to the outside, but I know he's not. Now, look at him cheating on the inside. Look at him cheating on the inside. Oh, it's open. Oh! He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. I was so focused on what we were doing on offense, I wasn't paying attention to the defense. I did not see that blitz. He was there. Blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. On play action, they'll throw. He's got quick. Good catch, baby. I had to anticipate him before he cut. I had to throw it before he cut. Good catch, quick. That one good for 17 is their second quick for third down. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. Glad he held on to that. Guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, they can uncover more man themselves man coverage. downfield and create catches. We got to expect that. Come on, Davis. Get open, Davis. Freak Davis. They're going to look to throw. Got a man open. It's Brian Quick. And he's able to pick job, up quick. the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Of course, we're going to be looking to the left side. The quick might break in the out route. Primary receiver right there. Back to throw now on first down. Yes. This one caught by Crowder. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. One quarter remains here on this Thursday We're not night playing that matchup. bad, guys. We'll it's just that those two turnovers killed us. You're watching the NFL. The interception and the block field goal. You're not you. You're losing. Snickers satisfies. I haven't had a Snickers in a long Back time. Back here on EA Sports. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start. If you're still watching this video four. right now, guys, I appreciate you. I really do. You can't run the football on them. Let's try it again. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Now they try the right side here. Come on! And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before Oh, he come on! Him yes! We didn't break that tackle, McClure! Into the end zone for a red skin touchdown. Whew. They keep running hard, there. baby. With a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Redskins are able to close the gap just a bit. Gonzalez to add the PAT. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. If you're still watching the video, guys, I really appreciate it. I really do. That means you love some That'll Washington Redskins, Hollywood sports football, and you're still watching the video one, right so now. From the beginning, I appreciate it. Shouts out to you. Getting set to go again, if you're still watching the, the video right now, guys, from the start from to right now, let me know in the comments. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. 
Look at just all of them, man. We got to put a stop to that dude. Together for him. It's that type of a day that you see him back. Just got to have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time. Watch the run. Watch the run. We got to get the ball back, like, quick. Watch it. Come on. Come on. Jalen Strong complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first yeah, down. We got to get the ball back, like, right the now. Pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Here's Watson now on second down. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it. Man, hit that dude. Just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. It's a six like number one. Yep. Yards allowed. 108. That's what it said. So the offense readies for a second and four. Come on, guys. Stop this dude. They run it here with Oliver. Hey, good hit. They're burning clock right now. Come on, guys. We need a stop. We need a big stop right here. He's got eight carries for 109 yards, averaging 13 yards a carry. Wow. You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's working? He's going right up the middle. Let's go. Let's go, D. He's in big trouble. Get him! Get him! Oh, get him. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Time for a break. Down by we'll two scores. To wrap this one up after this. As long as we make the playoffs, so guys, we're in week 14. We should be we okay. Welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. So the offense has it first and 10. They're really going to burn some clock go. now. One, On the run, it's Oliver. And just good a tackle, short good that time as they're able to get him down. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And now with 152 to go, we got another first time pause out. in the action. A timeout here defensively. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Good stop, good he's stop. going to be met at about the 43. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Texans on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Now a handoff here to his running back. Good stop. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Now the defense will burn their third and final range? timeout. And as the two teams turn over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get They're set not as fake we it. resume They're not fake it, so. The Texans send the punter out. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He'll look to they throw. did fake it. Get him. No. This would complete to his fullback out of the backfield. <laughs> what? Texans passing game in rhythm right now. What? Picking up another first. 
Well, we what? at each other in surprise going for it on fourth down of the fourth quarter with a lead. But Are you hey, serious? You the coach, you look like a genius. So the next time we see Coach, he's going to say, well, that's why I coach and that's why you guys talk up there, right? <laughs> he had the guts to go ahead and go for it, and it paid off. Time to the tailback, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his well, guys, we lost this one. This time they get him behind. We the lost line. this one. Call it a loss of two on the play, and it'll be second and 12. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because. We've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Filled up All right, guys, we didn't get this one. You saw what happened. You saw what happened, man. Everything was against us in, in this game. Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for Houston, it's an important win for their playoff hopes as they move to 8-5. and five. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week where they take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for Washington, it's just their third loss as they fall now to 10-3. And, and they will be at home next week to take on the New York Giants. Well, we play the Giants next week at home. We're 10-3, and three, so we're looking good, guys. We should be okay. We got a big lead in the NFC East. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there's a few people that wanted to see some red skin football in our franchise CFM. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. But if you're new to the channel, guys, I'm going to be going so hard with Mad 19 partner, franchise Charles mode Davis, when, that, when, that, when that game hits, guys. So I'm hit that subscribe go. button. Join the team NFL of Hollywood right Sports, baby. Right and we A will Sports. do it together. It's and as always, as we hopefully, so I will see everybody Houston. on my next video. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. That's all, folks.